Good morning, family. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. How's it going? I hope we put God first today. I got a little bit of motivation right here in the morning. I'm off work, but I'm ready to motivate, baby, because I want to put God first, and I want to boom, 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 knock out the devil, baby, because I ain't messing with the lie no more. I got SeaWorld right here in the background right here man i love san diego man you can go anywhere in san diego and you can make a video and have just an unbelievable backdrop man it's absolutely amazing man but so anyways if you don't mind liking this video if you hit that like button it pushes out the algorithm and it really 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 helps my channel it doesn't cost you anything and you just boop push that button and we'll continue to move and groove i want to continue to let the lord shine through me because this is my purpose i was saved by from a horrible horrible drug addiction of a 175 pound missing front tooth, no soul, absolutely unbelievable, unexplainable transformation that the Lord has done in my life. But today I wanna to talk about temptation, family. And this is huge. God can't tempt. God will not tempt. Understand that. Me being able to understand this has been so much growth in my life, so much spiritual maturity in my life. Jesus went out into the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights, and the devil tried to tempt him every step of the way. But Jesus knew that the Lord, that his father, could not tempt. Understand this. So he stayed and he made it through that whole thing, knowing that every temptation he faced was from the devil. Back when I played baseball, like I shared before in other videos, it would be about the fourth or fifth inning. I'd realize I wasn't going to pitch, and all of a sudden, the temptation would come. Oh, you're going to have a good night at the bar, Monty. Oh, you're going to have a good night at the VIP room. And I would get super wasted, and I'd wake up every day hungover and feeling like crap. What I thought was going to happen never happened ever because I fell to the temptation. Now, what the devil does is he minimizes everything, right? He likes to minimize your sin. Oh, you can do this. Oh, you can do that. Oh, it won't bother you. Oh, you deserve a little bit of that. He minimizes your sin, family. But when you have experience, it, it then maximizes the moment that you do the sin. It's the same as an addict. It minimizes the relapse, and then it absolutely maximizes the relapse. But King David, right, we have to still cling to the Lord when we're, when we're doing good. When we're doing good, we still have to cling to the Lord. We can tend to start to think, oh, I, I can do this now. Oh, I did this on my own. I've had this success on my own. No, you didn't. God has done this for you. It's that change of perspective that gives you that feeling of success and joy. It's that change of perspective. But King David, right? King David had won some wars and he was feeling prideful, so he stayed back from his army. He stayed back from his army. He noticed a woman Bathsheba inside of the shower. And he and he he totally threw off all of his spiritual guidance and all the things that he's learned from clinging to the Lord. And he looked at her and he got mesmerized. And the temptation was too much for him. And this temptation risked him blowing everything, family. So he ends up telling his servant to find out where she is. She ends up coming over later that night and they have a passionate night. They have an affair. They have an affair. Why her honorable, her honorable, awesome, amazing, who's been, who's been loyal to David is out on the war, on the war fronts fighting for his place. King David's sleeping with his wife. Horrible. Absolutely horrible because of that little temptation that he had when he seen her in the shower, right? He went off of God's plan and he went on to his own plan. And this is a destruction that can happen because of temptation. The Lord cannot tempt. Remember this family. So then Bathsheba comes back, right? And she tells him that she's pregnant. So now he's the only one that slept with her. Her husband's been at war. So he comes up with this master plan. So the husband comes back home, but because he's at war, he doesn't sleep with his wife. So King David now, he's now full in on the cover up. He's too deep into the cover up. He ends up sending the man back out to war and they have the front lines run back and he knows that this man is gonna get murdered out there. King David knows if he finds, if the city finds out, if the place finds out that she's pregnant, he's gonna be a disgraced king and lose everything. So he went to drastic measures to be able to save himself, 
to be able to shame himself. But the shame and the guilt and all those things, they eat at you, man. They eat at you. But this was all because of little temptation that he saw Bathsheba in the shower. Family, the Lord will not tempt. Understand this. God will not tempt. So any time in life that you're feeling like you're tempted, it's not God. It's not God, family. It's the devil. He's trying to take you back onto his team. But like I said, family, we're up here like boxers. Boom, 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 boom. We're the knockout punch because we cling to God. We cling to God every day, family, and he guides us. He guides us as we cling to God. We see the fiery arrows. And a huge maturity in my life is that God cannot tempt. Only the devil can tempt. So when I feel temptation right away, my default, it's not God. That's not God. That's the devil. And as I cling to the Lord every single day, man, it's, it's hours with God, moments with men. I spend the morning with God. I spend my self-talk with God. And this prepares me to handle man or woman or human being. This is what prepares me. It's hours with God, moments with man or woman or human. I hope we got something out of that family. I love to share the good news. This is my purpose, family. But remember, I can't say it enough. God will not tempt. So when you feel temptation, when you have, that sin is minimized, just know if you go out and do it, it's going to be maximized to the fullest because the devil loves to ruin lives. He's come here to kill, seek, and destroy your spirit. Your spirit. We have a God of second chances, and I want you to be able to walk into every room like God sent you there because he did. I now walk into the room. I have confidence. I have joy, forgiveness, faithfulness, hope. All those good things, man, that end up filling the spirit. I feel like an asset on the planet, and I want you to be too, man. You're right now, this moment, from doing the next right thing and having that transformation power that the God that God wants to put into your into your your spirit, because this is a spiritual battle. This is a spiritual battle that we're fighting every single day, and the devil's out to seek and destroy you. Let's have a good day, family. I hope we got something out of that. Like I said, if you don't mind hitting that like button really hit, gets the algorithm out there. But like I like to say, I'm the Dick Vitella hope. I, I want to explain this a little bit. So when Dick Vitella used to announce basketball games, he saw always go, let's go, baby. So I was over at the Salvation Army, and one of the guys in there goes, man, you're the Dick Vitella hope. So I started going, let's go, baby. Let's put God first, family. Let's have joy. Let's continue to walk in the light with the Spirit, hiding nothing from nobody, family because we are not living in the dark no more. We're now assets on this planet for the kingdom and we're bringing others from the dark to the light. Let's have a good day. Let's go, family.